In this class, I am going to explain you how to generate a Hamming code with odd parity. See the example problem here. Construct 7, 4 Hamming code for the message 1010 such that odd parity exists. That means whatever Hamming code you are generating, finally it is having odd parity. So now, so see here. Uh, for generating any Hamming code either that is odd parity or even parity, first of all you need to ensure how many number of parity bits that we need to add for a message. So here that can be defined by the code itself. You can observe 7 comma 4 that is nothing but when they given Hamming code like this. So uh, for example they given A comma B Hamming code in which A represents the length of Hamming code and B represents number of message bits in that code. So definitely if we know the length of Hamming code and we know the length of message bits, the remaining are the check bits or parity bits. By subtracting A minus B you are going to get so parity bits in any code not only 7 comma 4 in any code by subtracting uh, A comma B A minus B. So you are going to get your parity bits. Now for us in this example, so parity bits is equal to 7 minus 4. So you are having 3 parity bits. Now you need to place that parity bits in between that message. So where you need in which places you need to put that uh, parity bits are dependent upon the 2 power places of place values. So here totally how many bits we are having means 7 bit. Uh, Hamming code we are uh, going to generate that 7 places I am taking like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 bits are there where you need to consider your 3 parity bits means so at 2 power 0 place that means at 1 place this is 2 power 0, 2 power 1 and 2 square there is no 2 cube and 2 4 places as this is only 7 bit code. So here, here I am placing my first parity bit, let me take that P1 and here let me take this as P2 and again P3 we can place here. So the remaining are the message bits. So whatever message given there that I am just writing like this. So we uh, taken the structure of Hamming code. Now by getting the values of P1, P2, P3 we are going to complete the generation of this code. Now when we are generating P1, P2, P3 we need to keep in mind about parity. Which parity we need to generate means in odd parity we need to generate in this problem. So they will uh, provide you in odd parity we need to transmit, in even parity we need to transmit means that parity bits you need to satisfy uh, uh, odd parity or even parity. In this particular problem the parity bits must uh, satisfy odd parity. For P1 you need to check so 1, 3, 5, 7 places. For P2 you need to check 2, 3, 6, 7 places. So for P3 you need to check so 4, 5, 6, 7 places. So why we are checking these places means uh, uh, you can observe in 5, 3, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7. So you can observe uh, 1 at first place that means binary for 1 is 0, 0, 1. Binary for 3 is 0, 1, 1. Binary for 5 is 1, 0, 1. Binary for 7 is triple 1. So in all that at first place you can observe 1. So here for P2 at 2367 for uh, binary of 2367 is having 1 at second place. So 4567 binary having uh, 1 at third place that means 4 1 double 0 5 1 0 1 6 double 1 0 7 triple 1 in all that you can observe 1 at third place of 3 bit binary. So that's why we take in the reference of these places to ensure P1, P2, P3. So I am checking these places 1, 3, 5, 7, first place is P1 and third place is 1, fifth place is 0, seventh place is 0. To make this code as odd parity, so as um, they given in the uh, example, so to make this as odd parity, your P1 should be 0, P1 must be 0. So why because this is already in odd parity to make this as odd parity your P1 is equivalent to 0 no need to put 1. If you put 1 in place of P1 so your code is changing to even parity because 
even number of ones will be there when you take in p1 is equivalent to 1. So now I am checking 2, 3, 6, 7 places. Your second place is p2, third place is 1 and 6, 7 means 1, 0. So now you can observe the code is in even parity. To make this code as odd parity, your p2 must be 1. Then only you will get 3 number of 1s that will come into odd parity. If you take in p2 equal to 0 here, then you will get 0, 1, 1, 0 that may be in even parity. To make this as odd parity, your p2 must be 1. So in the same way, I am going to check 4, 5, 6, 7 places to get p3 value. So fourth place is p3, 5, 6, 7 means 0, 1, 0. You can observe this is already in odd parity. No need to consider p3 as 1 because already is in odd parity. So to get odd parity generation by using p3, p3 must be 0. So we got the values for all parity bits. Just by placing that parity bits in this Hamming code, you are going to get the actual Hamming code for that message. I am going to put here. So P10, P21 and P3 is equal to 0. Remaining you just write as it is. So this is your 7, 4 Hamming code. So for your message 1010. That for example, if you are transmitting your message by using odd parity Hamming code. So this will be your message for that particular message, message bits. So in this way we are going to generate by using even parity and by using odd parity and by using different message bits also will follow the same procedure.